In prime time news this evening, St. Catherine Farmers detail flood losses and the impact on food prices this Christmas. JCF's K-9 unit expanded as government justifies crime-fighting measures. And plans for stronger enforcement and education to boost the ban on single-use plastic bags. Good evening and welcome to Primetime News, live on air and online at onespotmedia.com and also to our viewers on TVJ International in the Cayman Islands. I'm Herman Green. And I'm Janella Precious with a preview of what's to come in the financial week. Our birthday boy is here, Javon Keys. <laughs> Thank you, General. Well, this evening we're going to be talking tourism and those numbers continue to increase. I'll have the details a little later on. All right. And Jordan Fort is here with a preview of what's to come in prime time sports. Jordan? Well, Herman, a bit of history created in the Issa Maninko competition today. I'll tell you more about that. As well as the JCA president, Billy Heaven, seeking a fifth term in office. I'll also give you more details on that as well. There's also sports commentary E-Prime and weather in this newscast, but before the break, the feedback question. Our question this evening, what changes have you been noticing in ground produce prices since the recent rains? You can share comments online, facebook.com slash television Jamaica and post on X at TVJ News Center. All right, please stay tuned. Primetime News returns right after this break.